All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechak Wadash, the Anzatai El, the Apostle of Great Meals, and I do it well, and salutations and blessings to our can as pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. Uh, today, I'm going to get to this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, You Gotta Fear the, you gotta fear the Lord. All right, man? You have to fear Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? Because, hey, it shows that you love him, man. All right? It, 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 it brings you closer to wisdom. All right? Man, hey, man, it ultimately uh, pu pushes you away. From doing any sin, man. All right, it gives you the understanding of uh, of of um. It gives you the understanding of incorruption, man. All right, it gives you the understanding of a. Hey, I know that if I sin against the Habash Shemashah, I'm gonna be destroyed, man. All right, which a hey, sin makes us uh, 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 uh corruptible, man. All right, but when you have this wisdom, man, all right, it aligns you uh in in, in the way of your Habash Shemashah, man. All right, which makes you near unto Him, which ensure which uh ensures your incorruption, man. Or like it tells you in Wisdom of Solomon in the sixth chapter. You know, so hey man, at the end of the day, if you're fearing your Hal Bashmal Shah, man, that's true wisdom, man. All right. If you want the wisdom to stay upon you, man, or if you want the Lord to protect you, you have to fear him, man. You know, so hey, we're in for do I'm jump to it. But hey, this wisdom, it has to already be something that, that's that's installed inside of you, man. All right, you have to be born with this fear, man. You have to be born with this faith. All right, which hey, not all men have. So this is Sirach chapter one and verse eight. It says, there is one wise and greatly to be feared. Yahweh sitting upon his throne. All right. So Yahweh Shemal Shai has all wisdom, man. All right. He is the most high, man. All right. Yahweh. All right. Through the son, through his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. They are, they are on one accord, man. All right. So they have all wisdom, man. All right. And greatly to be feared, man. All right. So it says, uh, he created her. All right. That's talking about wisdom. And saw her and numbered her and poured her out uh, upon all his works. For it says she is all she is with all flesh according to his gift, and he giveth her to to them that love him. All right, not everyone loves Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. Because what? Get this. All right, because hey, the Lord is is in everything, man. His his incorruptible spirit is in all things. But hey, not all men have uh wisdom, man. Not all men have that understanding, man. So this is uh, John chapter 14 and verse 15. It says, if ye love me, keep my commandments. All right. And not everyone loves the Lord because not everyone keeps his commandments, man. All right. Not everyone fears him. Not everyone shows that reverence towards your Habba Shema man. All right. That's how you show that you love him. That's how you show that you fear him, man. All right. By keeping uh, keeping his commandments, man, because you know that if you don't keep his commandments, that judgment is going to come upon you, man. All right. And the Lord is not a joke, man. All right, like a lot of these uh Christians think that he is, man. All right, they think that he they they truly believe that he's a fucking joke, man. You know, hey, they 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 got uh Cesare Borgia, all right, who you people ignorantly call the son of God, man. You know, they got him on uh Facebook break dancing and shit, man. All right, they put him on Family Guy, you know, making fun of him, man. Hey, they 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 really look at him as a joke, man. They don't fear the Lord, man. You know? Because hey, if they fear the Lord, man, they would know this. This is uh Psalms. Shout the 47 and verse 1. It says, O oh, clap your hands, all ye people, shout unto Yahweh with the voice of trumpet. For Yahweh most high is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. All right. So amen. The Lord is terrible, man. All right. He will fuck. Hey, amen. The Lord will jack you up, man. All right. He put you in horrible, horrible, horrible situations, man. All right. Things that you things that you can never get out of, man. All right, hey, look, hey, hey, man, hey, you, you, you can look at all the stories of what the Lord has done, man. All right, when He's angered, man. All right, hey, look, look at what He has done to you, so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, because you didn't want to follow His ways, man. All right, look at the state that you're in, man. Look at your sons and your daughters, man. All right, dying in the streets, being harlots, man. You know, and that's all because you didn't uh, serve your Habash Shemal Shah, man. All right, that's the power that we're dealing with, man. You know, one who can do anything, man. All right, put you in in, in horrible, jacked up positions, man. All right, he is a power to be feared, man. This is Matthew 10 and 28. It says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. All right, man? So, hey, the Lord, hey, hey, man, you, you should fear your Habba Shemal Shah over anything, man. All right, anything upon this planet, on this planet, man. All right, uh, whether it be Esau, Edom, man. All right, whether it be a, a beast, you know. A uh, giant beast, man. Whatever, whatever it is, man. All right, it cannot do anything that's on the magnitude of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, man. All right, the Lord can continuously bring you back throughout your generation, generation after generation. All right, make you poor, man. All right, make you uh um 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 uh, uh have uh all type of diseases, man. All right, throughout your entire life, man. All right, pains upon your body throughout your entire life, man. 
you know? And it's nothing that anyone can do about it, man. Because he's the most high, man. He does whatever he wants, man. All right, no one, no one can deliver you out of his hands, man. <laughs> hey. Hey, man, he's truly a power to be feared, man. Hey, we have to move with that fear, man. All right? You have to work with that fear, man, the same way that Noah did, man. So, hey, this is um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right. So, amen. There is no one on the level of the most high, man. All right. Whatever he whatever he sanctions to be done, uh, to be done unto you, man. All right. That's what's going to be done unto you, man. All right. And no one can deliver you out of his hand, man. All right. So, hey, you got to fear your Habash Shemel man. All right. It's, it's, it's not a choice, man. All right. You have to fear the Lord, man. Especially if you want this wisdom. All right. You have to fear the Lord. That's the first step, man. So, um, yeah, right, I'm gonna keep going. And this, this is uh, Sirach chapter one and uh, verse 11. It says, The fear of Yahweh is honor and glory and gladness and a crown of rejoicing. The fear of Yahweh make it a merry heart and give it joy and gladness in a long life. All right, because when you fear the Lord, man, are right, you gonna you, you, you're you gonna do your very best, man? Are right, you gonna do your utmost best to, to, to do righteousness, man? All right, to do what's best, to do what's best for your life, man. All right, so hey, you're gonna have a merry heart. All right, you're gonna have a uh, joy, man. You know, you're gonna rejoice, man. You know, you're gonna be able to uh, glory in your Shemal Shah, man. All right, because you have a power, man. All right, that one, one, one that's uh, uh, lead you on a path of righteousness, man. All right, and keep you there. All right, bad uh, 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 afflictions, man. You know, you going through things, man. All right, and hey, you're you're eventually you're gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger. All right, and you're gonna continuously fear your Habash Shmuel Shai, and you're gonna uh, walk in that fear, man. You know, so um, damn, I want to get some. You know what? Yeah, I keep going. This it says, uh, "Whoso feared Yahweh, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death." All right, because hey, when you fear your Habash Shmuel Shai, man, it's truly no such thing as death, man. All right, we're gonna be raised right back up, man. All right, because hey, the Lord, the, the Lord uh, has given us immortality, man. All right, hey, with this wisdom, all right, you you're aligned with immortality, man. Now you have the opportunity to uh to get immortality, man. All right, to obtain everlasting life, man. All right, hey, ain't, ain't no such thing as death, man. And it says to fear Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. All right, so amen to fear Yahweh by Shmuel Shah. All right, it has to already be in you, man. All right, because not all men are born with, with that fear, man. Not all men are going to get saved, man. All right, the only ones that's going to get saved are those that move with fear, man. All right, are those that serve you. How about Shemal Shai with fear, man? All right, and hey, if you're not doing that, hey, hey the Lord is not going to save you, man, because you have no faith, man. All right, because faith and fear go hand in hand, man. All right, hey, because if you fear the Lord, no, hey, I'm going to just get it. This Hebrews, man. This is uh Hebrews 11, verse 6. Yeah, Hebrews 11 to 6, it says, But without fear, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must, must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And, amen. The Lord is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. All right? Because, hey, the Lord ha has rewarded us immortality, man. All right? He's a retort he has rewarded us uh, cramp, uh, kingdoms, man. All right? Rulership, man. All right? Over all nations, man. According to uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter. You know, the Lord said that he's, uh, the Lord said that, uh, we're going to have thrones, man, you know, but Hey, that's only if you have faith, man. All right. But Hey, if you don't have faith, it's impossible to please him. And what goes right hand in hand with, uh, with your faith, man, your works and your fear, man. All right. So verse seven says, but faith, I'll say, but it says by faith, Noah being warned of Yahweh of, of things not, not, uh, seen as yet move with fear. All right, man. So Hey, by faith, man. All right, Noah did these things, man. He moved with fear, man. All right, so that fear and that faith goes hand in hand. All right, if you have faith in Yahweh Shemal Shai, knowing that he can uh, uh, um, um, destroy you, man. All right, put you in hellish conditions, man. All right, you're going to have that fear. You're going to be like, well, you know what? I got to do this work, man. All right, if I don't want to be destroyed, I got to do this work. All right, because you already know what, what's going to come, man. All right, you already know. So it says, prepared an art to the saving of his house. Yeah, of his house by the by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteous, uh, which is by faith. All right, which is by faith, man. All right, hey, we're all uh trying to be joint heirs of of, of uh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so hey, if you want to do that, man, you got to keep your faith strong, man. 
All right, because hey, the Lord said that. Uh, um, no, I'm gonna just grab it. I'm gonna grab it, man. This is Sirach chapter two, and verse. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yep. Sirach two and thirteen. It says, "Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believe it not. Therefore shall he not be defended." All right. So, Amen. You won't be defended if you don't have that uh, faith in Yahweh Shem Al Shad, man. All right. If you if you had that doubting heart, man. All right. If you if you're not fearing, man. You putting out the Lord from day to day, man. All right, hey, the Lord sees that, man. He's angry at that, man. You know? So, hey, you got to get back up on your high horse, man. All right, you got to keep going, man. All right, because, hey, it's good to say a just man falls seven times, but he get it back up. All right, so, hey, we all going to fall, man. But it's all about that, that, that process of getting back up, man. All right, and keeping your faith strong and building yourself back up, you know? Because, hey, not everybody has, not everyone has this gift, man. You know? This is a beautiful gift, man. Hey, hey we shouldn't neglect it, you know? But this is Philippians two and uh, verse twelve. It says, "Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have all have ye as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling." All right, man. So hey, we got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, man. All right, if you want to be saved, you have to have that fear in your heart, man. All right, because you won't go off, man. Are right, you have that understanding, man? All right. So let me get this, Joe. 28, verse 28, it says, unto man, he said, behold, the fear of Yahweh, that is wisdom, all right, so, a to fear Yahweh Shemal Shah is wisdom, man, and to depart from evil is understanding, all right, man, and, a the true, a we, we know that the wisdom is these, are, are these laws as commandments, man, according to Deuteronomy, uh, um, yeah, Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, you know, but that the beginning, the first step of wisdom is fearing your about Shemal Shah, man. All right, you have to fear the Lord in order to have that wisdom. Cause you, hey, cause you like, hey, I'm not gonna go off. All right, I know going off is gonna lead to death, man. All right, because the Lord is gonna is he is gonna jack you up. So you gotta fear him, man. All right, and to depart from evil is understanding. So hey, when you depart from evil, man, you have that understanding. Like, hey, I know not to walk in the way of sinners, man. I know not to follow a, a multitude to do evil, man. All right, you having that understanding of that wisdom, man. So now you're applying it to your life, man. So let me get this Proverbs 9 and verse 10. It says, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. All right, to fear Yahweh by Shemal Shah is the first step, man. All right, that's the first step of, of the wisdom, man. That's the first step uh, of being accepted of Him, man. And like it says, Sirach 19. You know, I'm a grad as well. And it says, And the knowledge of the holy. Is understanding, all right, man? Because now you have that understanding, man. Now you know that uh, going off leads to death, man. All right, you know that sin is the way is is, is um um is death, all right. According to um Romans six and twenty three, all right. Because hey, when you sin, you have to have you 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 got to get a payment for that, man. You got to get a reward for that, man. And reward is death, man. All right, and that's why all these people are about to get uh um um uh they're about to get slaughtered down here, man. <laughs> You know, they about to get slaughtered, man, by all the judgments that the Lord has lined up for them, man. All right, because they don't fear him, man. All right, they don't trust him, man. You know, so, hey, they won't be defended. So, this is Sirach 19 and uh, verse 18. It says, the fear of Yahweh is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtaining his love. All right, man, because the Lord does not love anyone but those that dwell with wisdom. All right, man, according to... um. What's that? I think that's Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 28. Yep, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 28, it says, For Yahweh loving none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. So, amen, the Lord doesn't love you unless you dwell with wisdom. All right? So that wisdom obtains his love, man. So this is uh, Sirach 19 and verse 18. It says, The fear of Yahweh is the first step. To be accepted of him. All right, man. So, hey, the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him, man. All right, that's the first step of wisdom, man. It's having that fear. And wisdom obtaining his love. The knowledge of the commandments of Yahweh is the doctrine of life. All right, man. So, these laws such commandments give us everlasting life, man. All right. these th th This is what has quickened us, man. This is what makes us keep going, man. All right. Not this world, man. Not anything that we see, man. All right, but Yahweh Shemal Shah, man, the spirit is what keep is what's uh, keeping us going, man. All right, and it says, and they, uh, yeah, and they that that do things that please Him shall receive the fruit 
of the tree of immortality. All right, man. So, hey, if you pleasing your Habba Shemal Shah, man, you're doing his works to the best of your ability, man. All right, you have that reward, man. Like it says in that uh, uh, um, Hebrews 11 and 6, man, the Lord is a, is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right, so if you're diligently doing the works of your Habba Shemal Shah, man, all right, you don't, you don't think that he's going to give you uh, that immortality, man. You don't think he's going to give you that throne, man. It's right here, man. You know, he promised it unto us, man. All right, and hey, the Lord is not is not a man that he should lie, man. So hey, we're gonna get that, man. As long as you continue in this faith, as long as you continue uh, uh, in your race, man, and not give up and let no man take your crown. So it says in verse twenty, the fear of Yahweh is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law, and the law in the knowledge of his omnipotency, man. All right, because hey, when you're doing these laws as commandments to the best of your ability, man, all right, you know. That, uh, uh, um, um, you know, and hey, you know, if you go off, man, all right, you know, your Habba Shemal Shah can destroy you, man, all right, because hey, the Lord is omnipotent, man, all right, he can do whatever, man, all right, hey, that's that Deuteronomy, uh, 32 and 39, man, all right, he, he has all power, man, no one can deliver you out of his hand, man, all right, because whatever he says goes, man, and whatever he does is 100% righteous, man, all right, according to Psalms 19 and verse 9, man, you know. So, hey, man, continue to do these works, man. All right, continue to have that fear of Yahweh Bashim al man. All right, and move with that fear, man. Hey, we got to have fear. So, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I would like to move up. I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Chakwadash, the ones that are the apostle of great meals, and to do it well. And salutations and blessings to you. I can push his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.